Today we're going to be taking a look at some of my favorite tools from Weira. There's some serious innovation here, you guys, so pay attention, watch out. Let me know in the comments if there's anything from Weira that you just can't get enough of. Like there's just one thing that you really, really love. Let me know what that is in the comments, but we're going to go through it. There's eight of them sitting out here on the table, so we'll get started. And if the first couple don't impress you, if you already know about them, just stick around because there's some things in here that I use differently than most people. So some of these actually just might surprise you, but I definitely, definitely love all of this stuff from Weira. It's super high quality. Uh, so let's get to it. This is the first tool that I found from Weira. These are their chisel drivers, okay? This is not a regular beater screwdriver. This is a chisel driver. I know what you're thinking. My beater driver does that. I'm telling you, it does not. Because the first reason that I found these was because we were actually taking off old parking lot lights, old fixtures, and they had this cast aluminum that was on there and we couldn't get anything to break it. We broke every kind of screwdriver that there was and then my boss actually had one of these exact screwdrivers here. So I ordered it online and then from there found Weira tools. That is how I found them because somebody had one of these and I'm telling you guys, it's, it's incredible. It doesn't bend, it doesn't break. It's so much stronger. It's meant to be beat on, to be pried with, unlike most of the screwdrivers that we use for beaters, okay? Obviously I've got two of them here. They are the yellow and black. You guys will see all of their screwdrivers are marked with color. So the color actually tells you what kind of screwdriver it is. These are their chisels. They've got an impact cap here on the back. It's a pass through so you can beat on stuff. That means no live electricity with it. Obviously it's got a shank here so you can put some extra torque on there to get some seized up screws off. Um, and then it's uh, it's got a hex shape shaft as well. The handles are super ergonomic. This is something that goes for all of these tools with these handles, super, super ergonomic, okay? The fit here, it's the craft form. I know it looks very strange to most people here in America. It fits so well. It's so much more comfortable than most screwdrivers here with the just base circular screwdriver handle. I'll leave links to all of this stuff in the description as well. So. You guys go check it out if you want to see what it's like, but it's also very well priced. Some of these tools get more expensive, but the chisel drivers are honestly so affordable. They last for forever. And like I said, I've got these two here. I think I've got another one of this size somewhere that I keep in a different bag, but they, they just, they last, they're comfortable and they're indestructible. It's just, it's hard to beat. I mean, I don't know how they do it. These first couple are going to be some screwdriver based things. So on to the next ones. We have just their regular insulated screwdrivers, you guys. Insulated or not, this goes for both of their insulated and their regular. I have both set. I like to use insulated drivers. I'm an electrician. The cost of these is, is the same for the insulated as it is for the non-insulated. So I, I opt for the insulated. It's literally no extra cost to me. So it's like, why wouldn't I have that extra safety? That's a personal decision. What I'm about to say goes for both their insulated and their non-insulated. And it's these tips are actually insanely, insanely fantastic they fit screws so well this is an old beat up flathead right i've used this one every day for over a year now they come with these little tips lasered on and i really thought it was gimmicky at first i don't know if you guys can see the tips on there or not but wow they work um, i can stick this into a vice screw on the outside of an outlet and it will stay like i can let go and it'll actually balance in there they fit better. Same for the square. It fits just incredibly well. Same for the Phillips. They're very well machined. The only one that doesn't have the lines in it is the square, the Robertson, whatever you want to call it. Anybody who wants to fight me on that, you guys are just a bunch of... They're just incredibly well. The handles, like I said, for the chisel driver, extremely, extremely ergonomic. They're comfortable. They're easy to use. The red on this one is a harder plastic and the yellow is a softer rubber. It just gives you a really good grip. You're just able to really torque down on stuff. They are machined super well, super, super ergonomic. I can't say super enough because I just love that the way these screwdrivers work. I've got some smaller ones here. This is a number one square. The, the colors are different. I'm not sure why that is, but this is also an insulated driver. And then this is a small terminal screwdriver, but it's also got the lines on there and they, they just work. I've really, I thought it was so gimmicky at first, but wow, it's not. Next, to go along with that, we have these pieces that go on the end of your screwdriver. 
their screw holders. And so this is so if you're reaching somewhere where you can't hold on to the screw, you can slide this on. There's the red and the yellow. One is for the bigger shaft, one is for the smaller shaft. So the yellow here, it's for the bigger shaft. It's for stuff like your insulated drivers. It's just got a little bit bigger hole on the inside here. Basically you push that in there and I'll show you guys with this screw here and boom. So you just tighten that up. Once you're threading it in, it'll this will push against the wall or whatever you're screwing it into and it'll actually pop through. Now, obviously if you're screwing it into something, it won't fly off like that, but you can also just like keep this down around your screwdriver if it's something you're constantly doing. These screw holders, they do work wonderful, especially when you're back in cabinets and there's stuff that you just can't reach. They're tight spots. It comes in this two pack, super, super cheap. But yeah, they, they just let you hold screws. They also take up just about no room in your bag. And it's like, if you use them once a month, uh, they're worth just having in there for that time where you're really struggling because that's what makes work tough sometimes is that one little Thing that you're trying to do that's just being difficult so sometimes it's nice to have little little knickknacks like these to help you get through that stuff on to our next one this is their multi-driver it's very very unique so this is a bit holder it holds bits up here so if i push this forward this bit comes out if we push this green por portion down back here it pushes in okay so we have a shorter driver now to get it to come out, we just push it down once. And then to take it all the way out, we just hold it in. Now that means that you can put this in your impact and you can use this bit or whatever bits you have in your impact. And it also means that you can fit different types of bits in here. If you want a solid shaft and you have bits like that, you can put it in there. Now where this really differs, when I push this button here, all of these bits are available to me. It holds six bits in the case and one in the actual holder. So that's super nice, but you have all of these. Obviously you can customize it. It comes with a certain amount of bit. You can change those out and put your own bits in there. That's what I've done. So I actually carry a number one, number two, and number three Phillips, number one and number two square, flathead and a T25 bit in mind because that's what I run into the most that are the most common. So I keep this with me in my bag pretty much all the time. And it's just nice to have all these little bits and it's a nice little multi-tool. It's also magnetic. so if there's any type of screw and you can also just throw this in your impact and it somewhat doubles as a stubby. So that's cool. The handle, super comfortable, same design as the last couple. Now this is where we start to get very interesting. This is the package that that one actually came in. I don't keep that multi-driver in here. I actually keep this little quarter inch Zyklops. So this is a ratchet, you guys. And it's so, so cool. For one, it's, it is a quarter inch, it's tiny. But the reason why I like this one so much is that when I press this green button back here, I pull it down, I can rotate it. So now it's locked into this. So it's not a flat ratchet. Now I can go forward. So now it's actually going, going forward. So I can use it almost like a nut driver. And then it goes the other way as well um, for both directions. So you can swing this all the way around. Now in order to rotate the direction, you just twist this little green part here boom turn it the other way locks in place it looks fantastic the handle's super comfortable this black part here rotates that my finger is around so if i have it like a screwdriver i can hold it steady in order to get your bits out you just press the silver part back here on the back and it releases it and presses it off a portion of this that i really love they make some excellent excellent sockets this is their quarter inch set their sae set uh, so they're just, it's just nice, very versatile. They hold so well. These are not the holding function sockets, uh, but they are just machined so well that they, they just fit in nicely. It's just an easy thing that you can throw in there. It just fits in this little pouch here and it's got a little bell loop on it. It's got Velcro on the back and a combination of the last two items and the combination of the actual ratchet and the multi-tool. We have this Zyklops pocket set. This thing is unique. You guys see, it looks just like the last thing almost. This is a 3 8 ratchet instead. This has got a quarter inch bit holder in the middle. So that means that it's a ratcheting screwdriver. It's a ratchet, you can put sockets on there and it also holds all of these bits. Now there are two rows of bits here. It holds six bits in total on both sections. So that's 12 bits and one in there if you include that. So you can use it as a stubby. If you turn it sideways, you can put a bit directly in there and it is magnetized in there. The hold is not as strong, obviously, because it's just a magnet, but it it is 
pretty stinking strong. But that means if you have a small screw, you can use this as a stubby. I like to use the ratcheting functions, the stubbies instead of an actual stubby. It just makes for much easier work because you can actually move it and get a grip on it. You can have it at an angle. You can turn it long ways. If you want, you can put a bit extension in there, have some more space, some more length. It just makes for a great option and it takes away a lot of the things you need. Now I have a 3 8 ratchet. I have a stubby and I have a ratcheting screwdriver all in one. This would be the perfect screwdriver if it had a hold function, but sadly there is no manual. You can only be tightening or loosening. There is no regular function to it. So I really wish that they had put that in there. That would be so, so incredible. But this does take away a lot of the options that you need, especially if you pair it with one of their bit checks. This right here is one form of their bit check. And basically you guys, it comes with a bit holder down here, very similar to the one a little bit shorter than the one in their multi-tool. It locks the bits in. You can pull it back to put bits in. Boom. So now if we open it up, you see all these different types of bits. Now they have a lot of different options for these bit checks. This is the one that I opt to carry because of the other stuff that I carry in my bag, but they have different kinds that also include a small ratchet in them and also some sockets, uh, I think three or four different sizes. So those are pretty cool, but this is the one I like to carry and it just has all the different bits, Allen keys, Torx, security Torx, every size of Phillips and flathead and anything you could ever need. All right, they've got it here. And you just throw this in your bag and you've got pretty much any bit you could need. So when I pair these two things together, it's a match made in heaven. I, I almost have everything I need except for the sockets, which I carry. Like I said, I have those in my bag already. It makes for an incredible pair. That's why I really, really like to use them together so much. And then last but not least, a lot of you guys probably know about these babies. These are their Joker wrenches and these are special. Okay. So you've got this section here. The nuts fit into this so well. I'm telling you guys, they just hold so much better. Okay. I can't explain the science behind it, but there's a holding function in there that when you press it in there, you don't just drop the nut. It actually stays in there. I'm not even gonna try to explain the science, the magic that Weir uses, but they also coordinate their colors. So you know, the purple's the 916th. And then there's a couple different versions. This is the version that's angled and that you can rotate the direction. I prefer that they're a little bit more expensive, but wow, they are nice. Uh, I got these in a set with 716ths, 916ths. I know this is out of order, so God forgive me, but these are the two I use the most. I also have half inch and three quarters. I don't usually keep the three quarter and the half inch in my bag. I do always keep the 7 16ths and 9 16ths because of strut for quarter inch hardware and for 3 8 hardware, because that's what I use a lot. Uh, so it's always important for me to be able to stick this into some strut, hold that nut in there while I grew uh, the rest of it in. These are by far the nicest wrenches I've ever used. Like I said, they come at a price. These are probably one of the more expensive things on the menu. Aside from this here, this is another expensive one. Outside of that, everything's so affordable. It's actually incredible. This right here, affordable. Your regular screwdrivers, affordable. Insulated as well because they're required to use insulated tools over there in Europe where they make these. So the insulated tools are just much more available. Don't forget about these screw holders. Those things are a game changer and a lifesaver sometimes. The Weir Zyklops, this one does tend to be a little bit more expensive, but it's worth it. And it's such a, I mean, wow, she's pretty. Our bit checks, you guys pair that with some sort of driver. It's an unstoppable match made in heaven. And then lastly, but not least, these chisel drivers. These are the ones, you guys. These things are unbeatable, unchiselable, if I may. If you guys want to check out some more multi-drivers, I did do a video on them, on these two right here, and as well as all of the other choices. So you guys go ahead, head up to the corner and check that out. It's worth a watch, especially if you like multi-tools. I went over a bunch of different types. So remember you guys, it's all for his glory and I will see you guys on the next one.